Hey YouTube, this is Philip with another video. I want to show you how to configure your controller on your Fire Stick with Happy Chick. You use this, your the remote that came with the, the Fire Stick as a controller. And it'll work with like the older games like the first Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick Happy Chick. And then you're going to look for a game. I'm going to just go to categories. And I'm going to go to Nintendo. And I'm just going to pick the first Mario. And then you're, I'm going to download it. It doesn't take up too much space. 41 kilobytes. And I'm going to hit launch. And then after that, I'm going to select customize keys. Okay. So right here I have the... The top of the D-pad selected right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select it, because I want to have my, I want to set, uh, I want to set up my controller like this so I can play like this, like a, like a old school co like controller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the select button, and I'm gonna hit up. So now this part is gonna be the up button. I'm gonna go down to the left button. I'm gonna hit the select button. I'm gonna hit the left button. I'm gonna go down again. And then I'm going to assign this part of the remote for the down button. And then I'm going to go to this part of the D-pad. And then I'm going to hit the select button again. And then I'm going to hit this button right here. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to assign the X button. I'm going to hit the select button. Right now it has it selected. And I'm going to assign the three lines on the remote. And then the A button, I'm going to hit the select button again. And then I'm going to assign it as the fast forward button. And I'm going to go up. Those two buttons is like the A and B buttons on the remote. Like it says B right there, but it's not really the B button. Okay, so you're going to, I'm going to hit the select button. And then I'm going to assign the, the pause play button the middle button, the triangle, and the two lines, whatever you want to call it, button as a star button. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and go to quit settings, and then I'm going to go to launch. I'm going to hit the select button, hit again, okay, and now I'm going to hit the start button, which is the two lines and the triangle, or the play button, and now I can play. So the A and B buttons. And that's how you use your remote as a controller. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Subscribe, like the video, whatever you want to do. Thank you.